Hey everybody, as promised, I'm gonna show you how to set up that Edpuzzle Schoology integration step by step, very slowly. But first I'd like to thank everybody for participating in what I consider the best tech professional development session I've ever done. An award goes to David Carini for best impersonation of me losing complete control. So here it is. All right, so this is how you're going to put in the Edpuzzle integration. Pick the class that you want to install it. Go over here to this four button mini waffle thing and hit App Center. You're going to find Edpuzzle. You're going to click on it. You're going to go install LTI app. Yes, you agree. Choose the sections, if they're linked or not linked, that you want. Uh, you don't have to click course admins only. In fact, you just want to leave that because the kids are going to have access to see it as well. Uh, and then hit install. Go back to that course. What you see is now there's this Edpuzzle uh, thing on the left-hand menu. It wasn't there before. You're not going to click it. You're going to go to course options and you're going to go to external tool providers because that's what it is. It's an external tool. You'll see it in the list here now. You're going to click on it. And what you need to, to get are these two numbers. So yours, they should be blank. So you should have nothing. This is the consumer key and the secret key. So that's what you should see. You're going to need to get that from your Edpuzzle account. So you're going to go to edpuzzle.com. If you haven't already created an Edpuzzle account, sign up for one. I highly recommend it. Use your Google uh, credentials. I'm going to log in as my teacher account with Google. Okay, so you're going to get into your Edpuzzle account. You're going to click on your little figure in the upper right-hand corner. That's your profile. Might just have a letter if you don't have a picture. Uh, picture. And then you're going to click on your name. That's going to get you into your profile page. And you're going to click over this on this school tab. Scroll down. Uh, you're going to leave whatever it is is selected. You can select your subject area if you want. But what's important is this LMS LTI integration. You have to tell it what LMS you have at your school. And ours is Schoology. We start for the first, the consider team. Just click the copy button. Now it's on your clipboard. Go back to uh, where you were going, uh, had open in uh, the Schoology. You're going to paste it right there. I'm going to go back to Edpuzzle. Now I'm going to copy the shared secret. Go here and paste and hit submit. Alrighty. Go back to the class. Now, this is how you make an assignment. First, you have to have, you, you, you go as an Edpuzzle to make your content in your videos. So this is where you will either upload videos of your own, uh, search for videos that are out on YouTube uh, that are relevant to what you teach, uh, and, and make sure that you have the questions embedded. These are the ones that you can see. And you can also see the videos uh, from that other teachers at our school that have done. So this is where you'll make your video. This is not where you'll assign it. You'll actually assign it in Schoology. Where you'll do this, click Add Materials, and then now you'll have this. And then your content pops up. I organize mine in folders. So I, let's see in my cells folder. I will then click where it says watch. Okay, so the two options that I have after I click the assign button are do I want to prevent skipping so they can't go forward and do I want to turn on closed captions to where it, you know, the letters and the words pop up as they talk. This is usually what I have and then I click assign. Okay, you're not finished though. So this little rectangular thing, uh, that icon stands for uh, an integration from an external tool. Uh, but what you have to do, just like any other assignment, and we're going to do this by hitting the gearbox and hit edit, is you got to give it a due date uh, and a category in order for this to automatically show up in the gradebook. Now, regardless of how many questions there are uh, in the video, let's say there's eight, uh, it's just going to take the percentage that the kid gets right and then take that and apply it to whatever points you give it in Schoology and then post that into the gradebook. I highly recommend that you only select videos or create videos that have uh, questions that are automatically graded. So if I want this to be worth 30 points, I then have to select uh, what uh, category I want this to be in, leave it at numeric, and then I can make the due dates different based off of my linked sections, uh, if they were odd and even based off uh, the separate, if the one was odd and the other one was even. Then hit save changes, and you're done. It, this will now pop up into the gradebook uh, with all your students. As they take the um, watch the video and complete it, uh, then you'll see numbers uh, pop up and generate in here based off of what they got. 
and there you go.